Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to another episode of Tech with Ro. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use QuickTime Player to record your computer screen or record through your webcam or record audio. Main thing I'm going to focus on is to record your computer screen because it is a simple program and it's free so you don't have to go out there and you actually don't have to pay for a program when you already have a program on your computer that, that you can use to record your screen and uh, this is mainly for Mac and Apple computers because um, I'm not really sure if Microsoft does that and I am pretty sure Microsoft doesn't because I had a friend and he tried it out and it did not work for him so um, yeah if you have an Apple computer this was, will most likely work for you so what you want to do is you want to find QuickTime Player it will be normally in your applications if you go to Finder you can search for it if it's not on your main little thing here you can go to applications and then simply scroll down until you f find QuickTime Player and mine is right here and it will look just like that or you can simply just search it and it will pop up as that just search QuickTime Player and it will pop up but here we are for this tutorial so first what you want to do is click on it and open it and you'll say right here these little options say QuickTime Player and the file edit view share window help so what we're going to do is going to go file and then well, I'm going to explain to record your screen you would click new screen recording now, okay, new movie recording is to use your webcam to record your face. And uh, new audio recording is just, it will only record audio. It won't record any visual, but it will only record audio. And this, the audio cannot be transferred into iMovie or Final Cut. I mean, it can't be transferred to iMovie. I've already tried, and I don't know, really don't know what the problem with that is, but I know it can't be transferred to iMovie. Now, these can be transferred to iMovie because they're screen recordings and they're in dot movie move m o v so they can be opened with iMovie and then so yeah what I'm using I'm using since I'm using um iMovie recorder right now to record this I'm going to switch over to my camera and I'm going to record the outside version so I can explain how new screen recording works so I'll catch you there all right now here we are in my screen again so I'm going to open up QuickTime Player once again in order for the sake, now that I can actually show you guys, here you are, new screen recording. You can just select it simply. You'll have this little toolbar pop up. And uh, as always, let me set it in the center. Um, as always, um, this is to start recording. If you Once you hit the right click on the red button here, you will start recording. This is for your audio, how high you want your audio. And like you'll notice right here, as you talk, it will change like the different audio settings and stuff but right now I have uh, my logistics head USB headset plugged in so um, that's why it's not coming in as well right now that I normally have it on really low because when I wear the headset it comes in really well the sound so if I have it even higher this is like recording what like how you want it to record like how high volume you want it to record in you can see like right there it's really loud when I when I with the headset so I have to put it really down low. So here we are. Then you got the none. You can have no audio in, during your recording, or you can have the normal built-in inputs or the microphone, internal microphone. And then I always pick high quality. That's like 1280 by 720p. And the show mouse clips. That that way you can tell when you're where you're clicking, or or whoever's watching may see where you're clicking. So yeah, this is. Be sure to click here to set up your settings before you go on to recording. And uh, here, I'm gonna sh demonstrate this real quick. If I unplug my logistics headset right here, you will see it disappear from the options menu right here because it's no longer available. Or it'll give you this little error thing, the exclamation mark, with the triangle that that headset is not available. So then you will put it none. Then it would be. Now you see it's gone, it's out of the list. But then when I plug it back in, there we are. It should pop up right here. Or you might have to refresh it, like exit out of it, and then go back to it, and then there it is again. So yeah, then you select it, what, what you're recording through, and then there you are. Now once you've got your audio settings set up and everything that you want, where you want it to record, then you 
simply hit the record button right here and it will give you this very straight up to the point um, option click to record the full screen or drag to record part of the screen so you would simply click and drag in order to record part of the screen or just simply click which is what I'm gonna do click and it will start recording the thing is it will give you the stop is when you want it to stop and it will start counting down and how much memory you're using on your computer to record this so yeah and there you are you you can't change the audio settings during recording so that's why I recommend changing it ahead of time and then once you're done recording you just hit, hit, simply hit that stop button and it will do this finishing depends how long your video is it it'll, might take a little bit longer but it shouldn't take that very long it should it definitely should not take a day you should be right done and as you can see you can simply play it at quick time recording and it comes out on really good quality there you are 1280 by 720p HD. And then you can simply open this file that you just recorded and open it with iMovie. Just go to iMovie and then file and then import and then select your movie. And then there you have it. That's how you record with using QuickTime Player. It's very it's simple, free program that Apple provides for you and it's really cool. That's what I use to record and I like it. Any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to post them below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.